Okay, I want to share something with you. I'm, I'm celebrating right now. It, this is something that helped me. I was trying to get my H2, the old H2, to work with my Audacity Windows 10 and was having a lot of trouble, a whole lot of trouble. And so I want to share some things with anybody who might be going through the same thing. This is a ministry channel, and I consider this a ministry. This was this information would have been very helpful to me if I could have found a video just like this. So hopefully it'll help someone else. And I had some help along the way. I want to give some credit to Philip Delek, uh, F-I-L-I-P-D-E-L-A-C, because there was some information that I found on his video that I'm going to share here too. His video is called How to Reset Audacity to Defaults. I ended up having to reset my Audacity to defaults because I messed it up trying to figure out how to get the, the H2 to work with my Audacity on Windows 10. I ended up fumbling around doing all kinds of things, messed it all up and said, I gotta, I gotta start this thing all over. And I, and I even had trouble doing that. So I'll show you that too. But again, you could see his quick video on how to reset Audacity to defaults. That's Philip, F-I-L-I-P, Delac, D-E-L-A-C. Anyway, my problem was getting this to work with the Windows uh, 10 Audacity that I have, the latest version. So here's here's what you do. So some of you, anybody who's familiar with this, anybody who'd be watching this would probably be familiar with this. So you put uh, you connect the the USB connection that comes with it, and you put it there into your computer. And then once you put that in there. I know this is a hard, you know, the, these little screen is hard to see, but I'm going to turn that on. As soon as you turn it on, it, it's automatically prepared for you to connect. And on the top, it says storage. On the bottom, it says audio interface. And so, you know, you use those little uh, uh, directional controls to control it and to pick. So I'm going to pick uh, audio interface, audio IF. And again, you press the... Uh, the record button, the red one, to select, and that's what I select. Now, once you select that, this is the important part. For some reason, it wasn't working if I just left it at the default here. The default here on the top, you can't hardly see that. I know it's hard to see, but the top is where you choose the frequency, and it's automatically set to 44 and 1 KHZ. You want to select that, and you want to change that to 48 KHC. You want to change that to the bottom one, which is 48 KHC. At least that's, unless there's something I'm missing, that's what I had to do to get it to work. So I had to put it on 48 KH, KHC. So you, you get and you select that, you pick that, and then now it's 48 KHZ, and now you go to Connect. You pick Connect, which is underneath, and you select Connect, and then it will connect. Now, as I mentioned, I had messed up all of my settings trying to figure this out. I had to set it to default settings so this is where i'm going to share the information of uh, philip delac and I, I apologize if i'm pronouncing your name wrong so you have to shut down you have to close your audacity you have to close it after you close it shut it off then you go Now, just pretend uh, that my Audacity is closed right now. And anyway, you'd go down here, down here in the corner to that Windows icon, and you press on that, and you go into Run. This is how you set the default if you mess it up like I do. You go to Run, you pick your Run folder, and then you put in that. See that? That's what you got to type in there. and you press OK, then this will come up. you got this Audacity folder, you go in there. The one that says Audacity 
dot cfg which i guess is configuration it stores all your configurations you want to delete that you delete that and once you delete that close that you reopen your audacity program and it would reopen just like new now To get it to work with the H2, now that you set the H2 on 48 KHZ, you then go into your preferences. And when you're in your preferences, you go to your devices. And for recording, you pick the H2. Then you go into quality and you have to pick you have to put it on 48,008Z that's what you have to put it on for it to work you press OK and of course you have to make sure you have it on your microphone for recording is the H2 and now it should work and see so now I'm recording with the old H2 so I had to, to have that setting 48,000 HZ so that was the key and you saw how I set it on my H2 again it's got to be there 48,000 HZ and so it works I'll just play this back you hear it? and see so now I'm recording with the old H2 so I had to to have that setting 48,000 and I'll just give it the little little scrape so you'll see I'll scrape the microphone and you see that it's working Let's little scrape so you'll see I'll scrape the microphone and you see that it's working and so that's it and I hope this was a blessing to you I would have loved to have seen this video when I was struggling with this for two days hope you enjoyed God bless my friend